This video will demonstrate how to set up your lock to work with in-control home automation. Before we get started, I want to point out that you will need to move your lock to your computer running in-control or vice versa. Move your laptop running in-control to your lock. Super important step, otherwise this process will not work. First of all, let's reset your lock. Do this by running a Z-Wave Exclude on it. Now we'll do this even if we haven't included it into a network. The Exclude will actually reset the lock back to factory defaults. So, first of all, fire up in control and we'll go to the tools menu and we'll pick Z-Wave commands and choose remove device. We'll wait a few moments while in control gets a lock on your USB stick. And there we go. Now that InControl is prompting us to press a button, we'll follow the instructions in our manual that came with your lock. I'm going to show you the instructions that are included with the Quick Set, and most locks will be similar to this, but please refer to your manual for doing an exclude. Now, open up the back of your lock, and on the back of your lock there's a button in the upper left hand corner. We'll go ahead and press that button. Once the red light goes out, we'll switch back over to in control and we should get a message similar to this saying that our device has now been removed. We'll now perform the add on the lock by going to tools, Z-Wave commands, add device. And again we need to wait a few moments for in control to get a lock on the USB stick. And You'll notice this command will come up and tells us that it's locked and it's now prompting us to press a button on the lock itself. So we'll do that and then we'll wait a few seconds. Now some locks will take up to 45 seconds to complete the step. And while they do, it's important that the USB stick, the laptop, and in control stay within a couple inches of the lock during this entire process. They're exchanging keys and various security information. After your lock has been added and you're back online, wait a few seconds and you'll see this new entry control device show up. Let's auto configure it by right clicking it and in control is going to tell us it needs to be awake for locks. The device is already awake, so click OK. And let's wait a few seconds for the auto configuration to complete, at which point we'll get this message saying that it's complete. The important message here is that it says it successfully subscribed to event notifications. And we're done. 